there and welcome back to another gorgeous day here in the Australian bush. My buddy Jaso and I asked our wives and our daughters if we could go on a little solo mission out into our Royal National Park that we live like five minutes down the road from. And we ended up stumbling across some of the coolest thing I'd ever seen. There was these gorgeous tiny little off-grid shacks all through the coast of this national park. These off-grid shacks were incredible because the only way that you could get in and out was by hiking like a, a serious amount of time and maybe like it could even take like a couple of hours and they we got chatting to a guy a local guy and he said that there's no way you can buy these shacks they got built pretty much by um, the grandparents of the people that are living or will holidaying in them and that they built in the depression as an area where they could go and live and fish and farm and live off the land um, and then it got taken over as the Royal National Park and they loved the fact that there was these beautiful heritage kind of shacks and off-grid dwellings they're still allowing only the families of the people that built them to stay in them and so these guys have got to hike hours to get into these shacks so they'll like you'll we'll see them sometimes with their backpack full of food or they'll be like carrying in little bits of material so that they can add solar or fix things on the shacks and man it was cool it is a pretty cool little place and as we sort of trekked, it was probably like a four, maybe five hour trek that we did finding these little off-grid shacks. And I thought you might like to see it because it was some of the most beautiful, rugged coastline probably I've ever seen. We got to like hike into the sunset in the dark for a long period of time, which you probably won't see a lot of because it was just too dark. We set up a little camp, got a little fire going spent the night in the bush right on the beach and it was awesome and I'd love to show you a little bit of what it was like so come on a little bit of a journey with me would you come on What do you reckon, Jace? This is pretty spectacular, eh? Cracker. You liking it? Love it. I'm loving this. This has got to be, look at that view right there. It's got to be one of the most spectacular points in Sydney. I'm not even lying. Look at that. Look at this behind us, man. What do we got? Oh, just nothing but gorgeous escarpment and then open flat plains. You've got to love it. This right here is a little off-grid village right on the ocean here. How cool is that? How did they get all this stuff in here? That's the question. Right on the flippin' beach. Look at that!
trying to find ourselves a nice, decent, flat spot to camp for the night. This place is pretty isolated out here, so it doesn't get much better than just trying to find a nice flat spot in the bush on a beautiful headland with gorgeous views all around you. Look at this. Look at this spot. This place is like a hidden treasure. Oh man, I've missed doing this sort of stuff. I've missed these kind of hikes. This is what life is all about right here. It's just freaking spectacular. Here we've got another little section of little off-grid dwelling places where you can't actually buy these areas. You can only be passed down to your family. How cool is that? And look at this. Look at the spot they got. Wow. So beautiful. This whole place is just like a gorgeous painting. G'day. G'day there. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey there, buddy. What y'all doing over there? Little He's brush tail, isn't he? Little brush tail wobbly. All right. Okay. See ya. Enjoy. Carry on with your evening. Jace, how you did it? I told you. Kind, we <laughs> kind told of, you it was worth bringing that. It was back hurts. It was kind of worth the four and a half hour trek we just did all the way through the Australian jungle. We finally found a campsite though, and it's mud. it's pretty through deep in the mountains. It's pretty deep through in sand the, dunes. <laughs> it's pretty <Through> water. <laughs> We're gonna cook up a meal right now. Sit around a fire and yeah. just enjoy the beautiful yeah. luxuries of a night in the bush. Oh, look at those stars. You oh can't see them. Oh. oh, this is what I like to see, Jace. A well-established camp cooker. Just straight out of the bush. It's exactly what we need. This is what's gonna keep us alive tonight. We can tell stories, sing a couple of songs, eat some food, all the good stuff, you know? Well, you gorgeous little patch of bush, you served us very well last night. You provided us heat and a cooking ability with your fire. You provided a shelter with help with a little tent. And this little space was just the perfect little place to do a little hideout for the night. Not bad, eh, Jace? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Very much enjoyed that time here in the Australian wilderness right next to the beach what a spectacular spot so we've just walked from my local area there's a place called Otford you pop into the National Park and it takes you through this gorgeous kind of rainforest slash palm jungle everywhere. Now we've popped out here in a beautiful little spot called Gary Beach. You couldn't see it much last night because it was dark, but check this out. Oh man, that was an awesome little trip. Awesome trip exploring some of the national park around us here in a beautiful area called Stanwell Tops, Helensburg. You guys, if you come to Australia, you definitely need to check this joint out. It is so beautiful. Grab a tent, you can even borrow it off me if you want and do that hike. It is so refreshing and nice to spend the time out in the wilderness like that for the night.